the economic and technical potential of China today is higher than ever. Perhaps that is why the development of science in the celestial empire does not go step by step, but rather lead by leap. The country bravely fights for the implementation of the most incredible project satisfying its love of decant mania. Welcome back to another exciting episode of our channel. Innovation Diary brings you China's innovation stories, projects, and growing influence in different parts of the world. If you are new to the channel and enjoy learning about fast-paced modernity, especially China's development and growing power, you will find our videos intriguing. In this video, we will talk about China's most daring mega projects that take your breath away. Let's get started. The Baiyun Hydropower Plant, a dam that is taller than most skyscrapers. In 2017, China began construction on one of the largest hydropower projects in history, the Baiyun Hydropower Plant. In just five years of construction, China built a huge wall of concrete across Eurasia's largest river, the Yanks. The dam itself is 289 meters or 948 feet high, exceeding the height of most skyscrapers. Bai Hatton Hydropower Plant has a total of 16 domestically produced power units, each with a capacity of 1 million kilowatt. The cost of building the hydroelectric complex is estimated at $26 billion. The largest plant in the Angst Cascade is the Three Gorges Hydroelectric Power Station, which we will talk about a little later, but Haddon is the second largest and its 289 meter high dam covers the Yanks upper reaches with a concrete wall. The Bayhead and Hydroelectric Reservoir holds 2,627 cubic kilometers of water, which is the size of a small artificial sea. Currently, the list of six large hydroelectric power plants on the Yanks River, which were built and operated by the Three Gorges Corporation, includes Udong Bai Heitan, Shiluodu Xiangjaba Sanctua, and Izaba. These hydroelectric power stations are capable of generating 300 billion kilowatt hour of electricity annually, which will reduce cool consumption by 90 million tons and carbon dioxide emissions by 248 million tons forming a 1,800 kilometers or 1,120 miles clean energy corridor. They also play an important role in flood control navigation, water management, and environmental security in the Yanks River Basin. And this infrastructure monster is the world's largest structure of this kind. The viaduct is part of a freight rail route whose official name is Fenhe Railway Bridge Mangua, which has a length of almost 2,000 kilometers or almost 1,250 miles. It links central and southwestern China with Inner Mongolia. This structure has 216 piers, the tallest pier reaching 74 meters, 242 pounds. The Gram structure stretches for nearly 8,000 meters or 26,000 feet. The foundation reaches a depth of 91 meters, 298 pounds. The main product for transportation to the region is coal. The line serves trains weighing up to 20,000 tons and the planned cargo turnover is 200 million tons per year. Guangzhou Opera House concrete and steel are the main material of Chinese builders. However, talented architects managed to create masterpieces even from such rough materials. The work of the famous architect Zaha Hadid confirms this vividly. One of her grandiose projects is the Guangzhou Opera House. The building impresses with its area because it is 70,000 square meters of space divided into triangles, each of which is a separate room. In total, the building is designed for 1,800 seats. The design demonstrates the fascinating interplay of architecture and nature. Zaha Hadid drew inspiration from drawings of nature canyons, rivers, gorges, boulders, and mountain slopes. The shape of the opera building was conceived as a stylization of natural stones thrown on the banks of the Pearl River. The construction of the theater, one of the three largest in China on a par with Beijing and Shanghai, cost $200 million. But could China stop at one giant structure? Of course not. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, Please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos about China's development, power, and influence on the world. Let's continue now. In the city of Harbin in northeast Beijing, another opera house was built. Its architecture also mimics the natural landscape, thanks to the convex concave configuration of buildings made of white aluminum panels. The architects called the object a sinusoid. The construction area of 79,000 square meters accommodates 1,600 people in the main hall and about 400 people in the small one. The object was erected on a marshy island with an area of 180 hectares, which is connected with the city by road bridge. According to the architects, the low white wall that surrounds the central square merges with snowdrifts in winter, which provides the building with an additional level of merging with nature. 
The Opera House is the cultural center of the city, a venue for performances and a public platform for theatrical art, Qingdao Bay Bridge. An interesting fact is that China produces and uses about 60% of the world's cement. And between 2011 and 2013, China needed as much cement as the United States used in the entire 20th century. There is a quite obvious question, where does it all go? In front of you is the Qingdao Bay Bridge, the first in the ranking among the longest bridges in the world laid across water spaces, and the fifth in the ranking in terms of total length. The Qingdao Bay Bridge, which cost $2.3 billion to build, is 42 kilometers or 26 miles long. During the implementation of the project, so much material was used that with their help, it was possible to build more than 60 Eiffel Towers. The Qingdao Bridge is a major logical hub and one of the most important initiatives of the Qingdao government to improve the city's transport, infrastructure, and encourage the even development of all its parts. Thanks to the construction of the bridge, it was possible to almost completely unload traffic flows and reduce travel time between regions. One of the most unique construction projects in the history of mankind is the Three Gorges Hydroelectric Power Station in Hubei Province. The construction has become the heaviest on the planet. The weight of the dam is about 65 and a half million tons. Work on its creation lasted almost 18 years. The dam is located on the Yangtze River, the largest water artery in China. It was decided to build the dam in 1991 after another flood, the damage from which amounted to about $30 billion. It is noteworthy that the cost of the project, including funds for the resettlement of more than a million people, was estimated at the same amount. Today, the dam has 32 power units, six of which are underground. They produce about 100 terawatt hour. To produce that much power, a thermal power plant would need to burn 50 million tons of coal for all its grandiosity. The Three Gorges hydroelectric power plant is quite simple. In design, it is a typical gravity concrete dam with a surface spillway. It took 27.2 million cubic meters of concrete and more than 450,000 tons of steel to construct the dam, which is 185 meters or 606 feet high and 2.3 kilometers or 1.4 tenths of a mile long. By comparison, it took 85 times less concrete and seven and a half times less steel to build the world's tallest skyscraper the Burj Khalifa 828 meters or 2716 feet. The mountain leveling project can rightly be considered the greatest skill of Chinese builders. You heard right. The Chinese decided not to wait for the natural change of the landscape, but change it with their own hands. The Celestial Empire is facing a shortage of areas suitable for human habitation. Therefore, local authorities are actively leveling the mountains to the ground. The soil and rocks are then used to fill in the valleys thus adding hundreds of square kilometers of flat terrain to the area of the cities. The Lansunu area is planned to start with a mining project for which China will flatten another 700 hills as part of the largest mountain moving project in history. A construction company will spend two and a half billion dollars on leveling making room for a new metropolis. The developers hope the cost and effort will pay off of the new metropolis potentially able to boost the region's GDP by $27 billion by 2030. But it is still not clear how feasible the project is, because in order for the soil on the side of the demolished peaks to become suitable for construction work, it is necessary to wait about 10 years. We would like to take a moment here and appreciate you all for commenting and sharing your opinions. Your insights always impress us. What do you think about these mega projects? Are these mega projects going to make China a master of infrastructure? Let us know in the comments section. Which project did you like the most? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence over the world. Until the next video, stay tuned.